What's up guys, welcome back to episode 36 of our Pokemon Violet series. Last time, we finally started our way down in this fucking crazy crater. God, I just... Looking at it again, it just could have looked so cool. Isn't there like a map kind of like this in like Mario Sunshine that just looks infinitely fucking better? I don't know what I'm thinking of, but Jesus Christ, like... Man, it just could have been so cool. I'm just really sad. Okay, well, <laughs> let's not talk about how bad Pokemon is. Let's actually get into it. Uh, like, even, I think, the, like, Poke... I played Pokemon Black a shit ton. I think that game looks really good for being, like, pixel art, basically. And made it to sa station number three. How are we doing after all that walking and battling and whatnot? Anyone need to rest? Mm, I mean, I'll rest just for Nathan's sake. You feeling rough, Benny? Mm, no, it's not that. I've just been thinking ever since Professor mentioned that time machine. The Pokemon here in Area Zero came to our time from the future, right? So what about Maridon? Isn't it pretty likely that it's also one of those future Pokemon? Oh, that makes too much sense. Oh, I didn't think about that. He does literally look like a bike. Huh? I think you're onto something. It's, it, it is kind of giving off future vibes. Even his name sounds future-y. Wait a sec, I totally forgot. Hey, Arvin, you had Maridon's ball, and you told us about it, its forms in the first place. You must know something about it, right? Uh, you still remember that from way back? No wonder you're everybody's little star pupil. I guess I've got no choice then but to tell you what I know. The Pokemon, that Pokemon right on, that is, it was found by my dad when he was working on it, his time machine. I believe it would be best for me to take over the explanation at this point. Okay, he's just like always around. Professor, uh, Maridon, which I entrusted to Wizrad, was the first Pokemon that was successfully retrieved from the future by the time machine. So we're just like yoinking Pokemon from their homes? This seems like just shitty. <laughs> Seriously? Through analysis of its genetic makeup, as well as its behavioral patterns, I came to realize uh, that what I had discovered was in fact the futuristic form of Cyclozar. So that's why Cyclozar still exists. And, okay, that makes sense. Uh, the Pokemon commonly ridden in this region. Well, that makes sense, I guess. They do look alike. Many other Pokemon also came to this place from across the boundaries of time, but I was never able to bring over more than two specimens of Mar Maridon. You mean there's another one around here somewhere? He probably fucking has it, no? What if they're family? The other one could still be so- Oh, that's what the other one is in fucking Scarlet, ain't it? Uh, could be somewhere in Area Zero, waiting to finally uh, be reunited with our Maridon. A heartwarming family reunion. Exactly. Imagine how thrilled they'll be if we can get the family back together after all this time. Family, huh? That sounds nice. <laughs> fucking Arvin. Yeah, it must be fucking nice to have a family and, like, a dad who cares about you. If we can proceed with Rad, uh, please disable the next lock using the central panel here. Alright, uh, just hit the button again. This is kind of like a rinse and repeat. Uh, I kind of want to switch out Pokemon again. Let's put Clarence, dude. Clarence hasn't done much. <laughs> I feel like every time I switch Pokemon, they're just not the right person for the job well done only two only one remains now please continue to the final research station so i saw like a big fucking cave do we have to go in there i'm assuming so right i don't fucking know man i am kind of curious to see how much is different in like scarlet god damn am i n i'm not fucking playing this game again i'll tell you that much <laughs> but God, i know there's also uh there's dlc that was released like I mean, I'm sure you guys know by now. This game came out, like, about a year ago now. Um, but fucking A, am I never... I don't think I you could pay me to play the fucking... Okay, I mean, you might be able to pay me. Uh, but... I really would not want to play the DLC. Especially after how fucking ass this game was. I mean, it's more of just I would... I'm not willing to fucking pay for it. It's just like, why would I ever pay money to play more of a game that I just really didn't like? I'm not even, like, that invested in this game. I, I should be reading what they're saying. I just don't care. I, I feel like they're not saying anything super crazy. Okay, so do we think we have to go across here? Or do we have to go down? Oh, my God. There's so much shit. This looks like there's a lot of stuff having to do with terrestrializing. Or, I, I don't know. That's the, the gems kind of look like the terrestrialized bullshit. But I don't know. God damn. Again, like, I feel like literally everything about this game, like, conceptually has been cool, except for just, like, the execution of everything, right? Like, it just, it could have been so much cooler. Okay, wait, is this... Oh, fuck, I'm kind of getting lost in the sauce now. Do we... I feel like we probably should have actually gone in the cave, huh? Because that, this kind of looks like that goes... 
Oh, yeah, because that comes all the way around, back down. Okay. Yeah, I do think we want to go in the cave. Can I just jump off? Fucking A, man. We have our little phone that's, like, basically our parachute, dude. Why are, why are we so worried about it? God damn it. Now I have to run all the fuck the way down because I was an idiot. There's also many cave entrances. And by many, I mean at least two. <laughs> oh, wait. We can't go further down here. Maybe it's down there? I don't know. God damn it. I don't... <laughs> I don't love this. Why did they make us have a fucking destination quest and take away our one movement option? It's so fucking annoying. God damn it! I just want to get there already, dude. Ugh. I do wish... Uh, I don't know. I, I do love the kind of the squad that we rolled out with. But I always do get that Pokemon feeling of like wanting to go through the game with another set of Pokemon. Like I used to do that all the time. I would play, uh, is this just the beginning? Can I look at the map at all? Fucking, no, of course not. Why would I be able to? This feels like just the beginning again. I feel like I've made like a full 180 on everything. But I mean, I don't remember there being this down here. So I feel like it's not. Oh, boys, I'm losing my mind already. Uh-oh. Uh, okay, maybe we walk this way. Just confirm that there's no lab this way. And then if it's not here, then I guess we'll kind of only have the choice to go into the thingamajig. Into the, the cave and see what's happening. But yeah, I used to play the shit. I, I think I've talked about this a lot. How, like, Pokemon Black was kind of the one that I played a bunch. Black and, like, Black 2. Uh, and it was just... I used to, like, do emulators of it. I was just so into it where I would... Be, Basically be like, okay, now that I've gone through, like, with basically every team that I can think of in this game, I have to now, like, import Pokemon at, at like, the right levels uh, that I want to use just, like, randomly. So, I, I would use whatever, like, I forget what all the all the apps were called now, but I would, like, you know, like, after, I'd maybe get two Pokemon for the first gym, and then I would, uh, once I beat the first gym and got, like, a, to a certain level, I'd be like, okay, now I can import a Pokemon at level one, and I would have to train them up. For some reason, like, feeling I have to be really honest to myself. That was, like, the other thing that was really funny. That I I would, like, do all these ROM hacks and shit. And I would just still feel like I, like... I would have to, um... Like, genuinely get everyone up to level the same way. Or, like, by doing it the... The right... The quote-unquote right way. By just leveling them up through sheer... Tra Where the fuck is this thing? I'm kind of going crazy. I feel like I've gotten lost at this point. Where the fuck am I supposed to go? Oh... Okay, I saw it. that was like a flamenco, but because of the graphics, to me it looked like it was like a cool, weird evolution of it. Okay, there's nothing fucking here. God damn it, dude. If only we had some kind of Pokemon that would let us like ride super fast. Do I really have to go inside the fucking cave? God, I've kind of like even lost track of where the the, la the other lab was. I, f I do feel like it's in this general direction, but Jesus Christ. I don't even know, like, what features we should be looking out for if we're looking for it. Dude, we're gonna spend this entire episode just looking for this last goddamn lab. I mean, okay, I guess now that I think about it, like, surely the other caves are meant to be, um... Maybe, like, one of the caves is, like, where the, pr the professor's lab actually is, right? Because we still have no idea where that is. Jesus Christ, man. My, the, the switch is really chugging, chugging along here. Oh, shit. Okay, well, that looks like a lab, if not the lab. How the fuck do I get down there? Oh, my God. Okay, well, I guess if it... My intuition might have been correct, where I, I probably do need to get into a goddamn cave to go down. So, my, I just have to run around until I find the cave again. God damn it. God fucking damn it. I, don't, I for some reason, just assumed that going deeper would have to be some kind of after I open the lab thing, but... I guess not. Oh, my God. Man, I just... I, I love how much my my um, view on Pokemon has changed over the years. Because it used to be my favorite game. And now it's kind of like my favorite aesthetic, if that makes sense. Like, I have so much... Oh, fuck. We're back at this bullshit now. I I see. We've, like, fully made a circle around. Okay, well, that actually is good. Because I know that the case around here now. But, yeah, like, I literally... I don't... Like, I... Do not play Pokemon nearly as much or enjoy it nearly as much as I used to. 
Um, like, I used to play it all the fucking time. I had DS, and then, like, when I stopped getting it, or I still got every game, like, on the DS and the 3DS, but then I still played ROM hacks. But now I just, like, I mean, I'd be lucky if I finished the game once at this point, but I do have so much, like, if you saw my house, you would think that I am, like, the biggest Pokemon fan, because I, I went to a, a convention a while ago. I think I am probably talked about it at some point, but I got this cool art. Um, God, I forget what, what the name of the guy is, but there's this really fucking cool art that the, he did where it's just like really vibey Pokemon art, and it would be like, so I, I got ones that was like for different typings. So there's one that like I'm literally looking straight up, and it, maybe it like shows. No, it wouldn't show up in my face cam when I ha have my other series, but uh, there, the one of the ones I have is like a grass type. So there's like a bunch of. Is that mostly just Bulbasaur's in, like, a fucking greenhouse, but then there's other Pokemon, too? Uh, it's just, like, it's just, like, a bunch of grass-type Pokemon, and, and it's just, like, a really cool vibe there. And then I have one that's a normal... Oh, there's that fucking thing. I don't want to fuck with that at all. And then there's one that's... I have the a fire-type one. Oh, shit. Okay. A high Dragon's actually horrifying. It's one of my... It's one of the coolest Pokemon to me, I think. One of the cooler ones. Let me see. What is... You know, I should probably look up this guy's name, honestly. Nah, it might take too long. Let me see. Instagram? God, we're finally down at the bottom. Oh my gosh, look at these huge, gorgeous crystals. Uh, they go all the way down to the bottom. <laughs> yeah? I mean, these are... These look like the terrestrialized crystals. Unless I'm fucking crazy. There aren't that many different types of crystals here. Uh... Is it this? Oh no, I've got the audio coming out. I hope not. Okay. Uh, one slip and we can kiss our, sh our short lives goodbye. Okay. Uh, oh, good call. Watch your step. Uh, so Professor's down there somewhere waiting for us. Oh, he's at the fucking bottom bottom. Holy shit. That's totally fine. Uh, Alright, team. Watch yourselves and let's go to the bottom of this thing. Oh, uh, where is this? Oh, uh, uh, this place looks unreal. Maybe there really is treasure down here, like the stories say. Oh, there's a little... I'm looking at this guy's Insta Instagram, because I think this is it. And it looks real... There's a lot of really cool shit. Uh, yeah, this place This place is like something from a whole other world. Makes you, uh, makes you feel like uh, maybe you already died and met and went somewhere. Uh, is it just me, or do the crystals here give off the same glow as when Pokemon terrestrialize? There's got to be some sort of connection. Only one way to find out. Come on, everybody. Let's get, keep moving. We've got to go all the way down. I mean, yeah, I kind of knew that already. Okay, I'm scrolling. There's a lot of art. I'm based on this person's Instagram. I'm just trying to find, like, the first one that I actually own. Where is it? I feel like this is the right person. We could just keep running. What is down here? How far down do we need to go? Okay, that kind of looks like a crazy lab down there. Oh, my God. There's a giant fucking crystal. Okay, that looks like probably the last lab over there that we actually have to get to, though, for, like, unlocking. Uh, let me see. God, there's a lot of, like, cool... This guy looks like he's into Zelda, too. A lot of Pokemon shit, too. Yeah, I, I do kind of want to see if we get a shiny Pokemon here, but... I feel like at this point, it'd be a bit too, like... Can I touch these, by the way? No, I guess not. Yeah, we get it right on from the fucking future, man. It's pretty sick. God damn. Where is this? I do want to shout out this, because it's, it's pretty cool. Oh. Okay, now there's another Deli Bird. I don't care, but I just want to point that out that I did see that, in fact. I wonder how many weird ones there are, then. How many different types of, like, uh, futuristic Pokemon there are now. God damn. Okay, how do we get down? Do we want to go left? Or do we want to go this way? I don't know. Fuck, dude. There's just so many Pokemon. I just want to run to the bottom. At least I'm just <laughs> fucking scrolling through here this entire time. Where there's there's so many singular Pokemon art. I'm just looking for the one that I bought, please. And thank you. Jesus Christ. And grab that. Terra Blast. Oh. We we do have the ability to make Terra Blast, but we don't actually use it on anyone. I guess Terra Blast is like kinda cool in that you could just always have because you can change your terror type to anything you want, right? Now that we unlock that one gym. And then you can just basically always make sure that the Pokemon has 
their highest stat like that because it it does you make it like a physical or special attack whichever one is strongest it's really just like a catch all but it doesn't i think it only does like 80 damage right it's not like super super broken god where is this is this just not the right bird i feel like this is the right person also i don't know if this is like their official thing or not or if this is just like their personal account but we'll see god damn it where is it oh shit okay well i guess none of their art was on here and all the ones that i was wait what the fuck they're just like on the side of the wall here what in the shit oh there we go i found it i think ah yes okay it's actually a website on etsy they have like an etsy page it's called uh bryce co draws which is pretty cool uh god we're almost there finally <laughs> it felt fast for me because i was looking through art the entire time but I want to find, let me see, if I go to sh about, or do they not have, like, just the thing that shows all their ones? Oh, here we go. Okay, wait, before we enter. Okay, let's do this. Uh, I want to do, I just want to show you guys this really quick. Uh, if I do uh, that, okay, yeah. I don't know if you could see this, but, I mean, it looks pretty cool, right? <laughs> uh, I just wanted to show that off really quick. But yeah, it's it's Bryce Cho Draws on Etsy. So if you're curious about that, I would definitely recommend getting some stuff from there. Because I just think it's cool. Okay, back to the original originally scheduled program here. Okay, so there's still a deadly bird sleeping there. We don't really care about you guys. So I guess we just go in. There is this massive fucking crystal that we just have to not worry about, I guess. Is this even online? This looks so fucking broken. Whoa, what happened? This place is a mess. Looks like something went berserk in here. Yeah, but what? Hello, children. Okay, I feel like he's gonna fucking kill us. <laughs> God, Professor, you scared us. I'm sorry. Why is everything in here all busted up? I'm sorry. Hello, children. What? Come again? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What the fuck? Okay, he's just, like, glitching out. I thought he was, like, turning full evil for a second. Stop that. You're creeping us out. Hello, children. 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 <laughs> Initiating restart. Is he actually... Was I right? Is he actually a fucking robot now? <laughs> First he must have something weird connection problems or something. I feel like he did turn himself into a fucking robot. Well, it was definitely weird. At least almost like... I don't know. I mean, <laughs> if he meant it as a joke, it wasn't funny. I still got goosebumps and all. Dude, he's... A, I feel like he's 100% a fucking robot now. <laughs> <laughs> oh my fucking god. That's so funny, dude. Ugh. Oh. Please, if he's not a robot, all locks disabled. I wasn't looking at that. I just looked away. Ah, hello. Can you hear me now? <laughs> Please forgive me for uh, my previous transmission. Uh, there seems to be some signal interference. That's not what that was. And you fucking know it, Dad. <laughs> Dude, Arvin does not look happy. What do you mean, Arvin? Locks have all been disabled at last. Please make your way now to Zero Lab, which lies at the very bottom of Area Zero. Yeah, I mean, this, this definitely smells like stank here. This feels like this is a really... I feel like he's a robot, and he's like, You've now freed me. I will take over the world. If, it, if it's not that, I can't possibly imagine what this is that would make me care about it. Like, I, I think I'm really invested in him being a fucking robot now. Is that Gabby? I don't know why. I just, like, look at that thing. I feel like it's shiny, but I just don't look at it enough to really know. Okay. God, look how fucking massive these rocks are. There are a shit ton of Terra things now that we can just collect, which is awesome. What is this? There's some sort of plate inscribed with a mysterious symbol. So we're we going, like, all the way down to here? Okay, I guess we can't actually go this way. Where the fuck are we going? I also love how there's no map for this area, so that's really cool. I mean, it makes sense because it's, like, the whole idea of why we have a map is because our phone downloaded a map, and the phone probably doesn't know where to download a map of this place. Uh, but it could at least, like, maybe there could be an app where we're, like, charting a path, considering how Pokemon's such, like, a fucking exploring type of world. God. Those are cool. I actually kind of want one, if I'm gonna be honest. I want to catch one and just see what it's like. Uh, who, do we have anyone who's good at, like, status -y stuff? Fucking no, but... No, that's not gonna stop us. Okay, come here, right, dragon. It just looks so cool. I mean, okay, not gonna lie, I do prefer a regular Hydreigon to whatever the fuck this thing is. Okay, let's do Eye Shard, because I think we might one-shot it. 
Okay, yeah, Ice Spinner would have one shot it big time. I was gonna do fuck you. Why does he have Crunch? You're a special type. Unless now that it's a fucking futuristic Pokemon, it might be like a physical type. Who knows? We can, in fact, start using Ultra Ball. We have not had to catch Pokemon in so fucking long. We did kind of just stop caring about catching any new Pokemon. Oh, bitch! You son of a bitch. I'm just trying to add you to my team. Okay, Clarence is just simply not gonna care about whatever you throw at him. Iron Juglas. <laughs> I just noticed his fucking name. Wait, it immediately broke free? Bitch, what the hell? Can you please just be caught? Iron Juglas? What the fuck kind of name is that? I wonder what that deli bird's name is then. You slut. Can you just stay in the ball? All I want is to have you... It's just the... I don't even know if you're going to be on the team. I really don't care enough to train him up to be on the team. Come on. Easy money. Was that so fucking hard? Iron Jugulus. Jugulus. What the fuck? Okay. Can I look at this? Uh, it is dark flying. It's not even a steel type. So it, it, instead of being a dragon type, it's now a flying type. It's possible that Iron Juglas, an object described in an old book, may actually be this Pokemon. No, we're not. I'm kind of sad that I honestly lost the dragon typing more than anything. I kind of wanted to keep that more than any of them. Oh, fuck. Wait. Where's the... Oh, God. Where's the Pokedex? I didn't know that we actually knew the name of that fucking deli bird. Uh, here we go. Uh, Gimmagool. Okay, so there is a couple ones that this could be. What's this? Iron Bundle? I guess that makes sense. Iron Treads. Iron Jugulus. Jugulus. What does Jugulus mean? Uh, am I stupid? That's just not a word I recognize. I can gain a reward. Wait. Can, is that, has that always been a thing? Can I get, get it here? What do you mean I can gain a reward? What the fuck? Oh, it's X. I've never seen this in my entire fucking life. What the hell? Has this always been here? What the fuck? <laughs> How long has this been a thing? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay, we're about to get so much shit. Oh, no. We haven't done this. We literally never looked at this. Okay, actually, though, we didn't get that many things. Why are these, like... Oh, this is just a hyd hydragon? Oh, okay. Wait, does this just tell us? Oh, this, they're just telling us, oh, all these Pokemon exist now, and now you kind of know where they are, I guess? I don't know. Okay, come on. Can we just sneak by all these Nathans real quick? I really don't need to get a fucking Delibird there. Delibird <laughs> is one of the funniest. I never understood Delibird because I know his whole gimmick was like that he has the present move. <laughs> I still don't even really understand it. That's how little I've used him, where it's like as a chance that you just heal them. It doesn't even do that much damage, right? It's just you just throw a press. What the actual fuck? I guess that's what those evolve into, huh? God, that's so. Those things look fucking weird as hell, man. <laughs> I don't really care. They don't look so weird that I like want to actually, uh, you know, catch it. I just don't. I don't really care. I just kind of was really curious about the high dragon because I, I usually like that Pokemon. Holy fuck, dude! I'm so done with walking. We've walked so far. Shadow Ball. Okay, that's pretty cool. I, I mean, I love that we're getting Shadow Ball now that we're, like, you know, way past the level of anything. And we would have learned any move by now that we would have wanted. But, cool. I mean, the sentiment is sentiment is cool. I, I feel like there's some weird connection between th this being futuristic and also these Terra Crystals. I want them to explain what, why there's a bunch of Terra Crystals down here, basically. And there's, the entire fucking lab is covered in it. Okay, so the door is unlocked. Like, that's the thing, is that we also need to understand is, why the fuck was he locked in there? We finally reached the deepest part. We made it. Ready to see if those legends of treasure uh, down here are for real? Yeah, right. That's just fluff they write to fill the textbooks. He's so a robot, right? Hello, children. Uh, you've, done, you've done well to make it here. The structure you see before you is the Zero Lab. That's where you are, right, Professor? But wait, why does it look like the whole place is being swallowed up by crystals? The crystals here in Area Zero possess peculiar energy. This energy can alter the functions of living things and optimize the performance of machinery. It is the same energy that allows the Pokemon to terrestrialize. So this entire building's been terrestrialized? Is that what you're saying? Don't be silly, Arvin. 
Yes, tell us, Brainiac. Prof Professor impl uh, implied something important about terror orbs just now. They're made from the crystals down here in Area Zero, aren't they? Eh, oh, that would make sense. Indeed, though not many know it. I don't think many people know this place fucking exists. <laughs> Uh, since you have disabled all four locks, the gate to Zero Labs should now be open for you. But once you open the gate, you will quickly be confronted by the dangerous Pokemon inside. They will uh, likely be make a break for freedom. Yeah, I feel like he is the dangerous Pokemon. With four of you working together, you should be able to best them. Prepare yourselves to open the gate. Okay, I'm fucking, I'm ready as can be. Uh, you've got me and Wiz right here. Doesn't matter what we're up against, we'll be fine. Ha, huh, well then, that puts all my worries to rest. Okay, come on. Let's see. Also, I saw my reflection in the thing just now. It was very weird. Oh my god. Okay. The way that they do the reflections here, very weird. Okay, let's just do this. Let's just see what we got. What have you got for us, Professor? Open the gate to your lap. Yas. You decide to press the button and open. Hold it. Okay, Arvin just not. Are we going to have to fight Arvin? Huh, we're finally on the cusp of getting into the lab. Look, if it's true, a bunch of really dangerous Pokemon might come at, might come at us, then we'll, uh, shouldn't we have also have Maridon help? I, Maridon just doesn't want to come out, and we still don't know why. Yeah, if Maridon were like how we first saw it on, in the Inlet Grotto, that'd be a huge help. I want to see it battle. Uh, but it hasn't even wanted to let us ride it ever since we came down to Area Zero, and it can't enter its battle form in the first place. But it's really strong. I know it is. I hate all those Urba Miska. I hate all those Urba Miska. It ate all those Urba Mystica we found, too. Uh, when it really matters, I'm sure it'll fight. And Area Zero is where it used to live. If you bring it out of its ball now, maybe it'll be able to find its family, too, right? It's pretty sensible by your standards, Arvin. Um, I don't know. Uh, go on, Wizard. Let him ride on out. Uh, yeah. I mean, ride on this one. Come out. Uh, and I feel like he's gonna immediately gonna fuck off, but we'll see. What's up, future Pokemon? You didn't tell me you are from the future. All right, come on, Wizard. Now that we got him on ready, it's time to open the gate. Yeah, I'm ready. Just I pressed the button already, so what are we waiting for? Please tell me we're about to fight Mecha Professor. I would, I would love that more than anything to fight Mecha Professor. Because why else would they seal him in here? Like, he's sealed in without his own way of getting in. Oh, it's the other Pokemon. Isn't this, like, my thumbnail? <laughs> oh, my God. Jesus Christ. It's Marinon, but better in every way. The family reunion, it's happening. Whoa, no way. Is this thing gonna fucking kill Maridon? It looks like it is gonna try to kill him. Hello. Oh, he looks kinda sad. What's going on here? Something's not right. Yeah, this guy is fucking fully powered up, and Maridon's not. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, he's just going in. He also does just have jets. I guess our Maridon does have jets, just not fully powered like this one is. Bridal, why can't you be fully powered up like that? It would make life so much easier if you could just Oko everything. <laughs> Please. So we just watched it go in. Do we think it's going to come out with something? Are we not going in? What's wrong, man? Are you bummed out your heart uh, your heart roaming reunion got cut off so quickly? I feel like it's not that. There's something heartwarming about it. We are this close to being caught up in a nasty brawl. Wait, for real? You're actually stupid. Just look at Maridon. Poor thing's terrified. Guess that other one isn't exactly its pal. Yeah, the other Pokemon was giving off some real bad vibes. Uh, not that you should be worrying... Uh, not that you should worry a thing about that. any of that. Once we get you back in your battle form, I'm sure you'll be going toe-to-toe -to -toe against that jerk. If, you know, you want to. <laughs> hmm. Sorry, I guess uh, that doesn't really help, huh? Uh, do you think that other Maridon was one of the dangerous Pokemon the Professor warned us about to watch out for? But didn't the Professor say the dangerous Pokemon would come from, uh, come out from inside? You mean from inside the gate we just... Oh my fucking god. There's a Hariyama, a Dawn Fan, the other fucking one. Rumble, rumble, rumble. The Hariyama looks fucking hilarious, dude. What the? Okay, so I'm assuming we're just gonna roll these guys. God, this episode might go a little long. I didn't really know how long this cutscene was gonna take. Oh, there's actually a lot. We're surrounded. I'm sure we could take them. It's pretty obvious they're not here to uh, to roll out a friendly welcome mat. There's no way we can handle this many. Don't tell me they're all future Pokemon. Have you ever, ever seen a fucking Hariyama like that? We've got a little disaster on our hands here. Mm, I don't think they understand. Hands up. Look, even that fellow's ready to bail. Then I guess it's my turn. I've been waiting. Come on, we'll try. Let's do this together. Yeah, we are, like, 
I mean, to be fair, everyone here can battle fucking well, so I don't know why they aren't gonna help, but I guess they're just too much of little bitches to do anything. <laughs> Okay, it's not great that we have Clarence against this guy. Mm, but I guess we'll just Ice Spinner and maybe one-shot it? Oh, well, I mean, he's going to do that, so I'm sure Ice Spinner will kill it. Oh, Lycanroc got Oko. Jesus Christ. I wonder how, what level their Pokemon is. I mean, to be fair, they didn't go through all the shit that I just went through. Because <laughs> they were all the same level as me. Oh, no, that did not do very much damage. I feel like if the Iron Head's Clarence, Clarence is not going to survive that. But, I mean, we kind of have to Ice Spinner here. Okay, he decides to Rapid Spin for a reason I can't understand. Yeah, that speed's not going to save. Oh my god, Palmot knows fucking close. Is Palmot part fucking... It's not part fighting, right? I'm not crazy. Pokemon DB. Because I had it. I did not remember seeing it be a fucking... Palmo, Palmot. It, oh, wait, what? It is electric fighting? Oh, it just evolved again. I just didn't know that. <laughs> I'm stupid. Uh, I'm glad you're on our side, but you're still really annoying when you say stuff like that. Oh, Palma was a fighting type since fucking win. Dude, the, to get Palma, you have to walk it in fucking the let's go mode. God damn it. Of course that's how you evolve it. Son of a bitch. Eh, it's whatever. I don't care enough to do that. Yeah, why are they coming at me? Whistrad, help me out here. Yeah, let's just roll these guys, please. I'd like to get this done with so that we can end the episode. Oh, God. I am I love this Hariyama one. What's it called? Like, like uh, Iron... Oh, Iron Hands. There we go. That makes sense. Do we think uh, Bounce is going to do good? Might as well try it, right? It can't hurt. I'd rather, it, like, not hit Clarence anyway. <laughs> is he going to try, like, fourth? If he does a fight type move... Okay, it is super effective, so... Bounce might be super... Well, it sh hopefully it should be super effective. Oh, yes. It did try to hit us, after all. Bada-boom. And if that... Oh, that did no damage. Okay, maybe the steel typing does make it, like, neutrally effective. So then, probably an ice type move is not great. Why the fuck is it wild charging? What the hell? Okay, well, I can just bounce again, because why the fuck not? And then let this Dumbreon kill it. Very I would use this Hariyama if I found it, honestly. I mean, not anymore. I I'm definitely not going to add any Pokemon to the team, but... Jesus Christ. Oh, boy. More level ups? Dude, I... No, I see, like, the max level Pokemon level is, like, 100, and we're not even... We're still, like, 30 levels away from there, and there's no fucking way in hell we're getting close to that. There we go. They're all scared. Oh, no, they're all running away. Yeah. And if those Pokemon get out, we're going to have a gigantic mess on our hands. We got to go after them, Penny. <laughs> Why fuck me, man? God, hold on, Nomoto. Why, <laughs> Why do I got a feeling you're going to enjoy all this? Also, I mean, okay, yes, there is a precedent that they did get out. But we're, like, in a fucking pit. Like, how the hell did they get out in the first place? At least the crowd's been t thinned out now. Guess it's up to us to deal with what's left. Uh, let's go for the strong-looking one first. Yeah, see, this is the thing about, like, real-life Pokemon. I feel like the, a wild Pokemon, like a horde of all these strong ones, wouldn't just wait for you to defeat them one by one. Okay, so we do know this guy is ice or is Flying-type, so we can just Ice Spinner and fucking murder it. I don't... There's no shot it one-shots us. Yeah. And you should just die, because Ice Spinner is pretty fucking strong. Ah, I guess not. Clearance, you weak motherfucker. You don't play rough? What the fuck? <laughs> Okay, that's pretty cool, I guess. Wait, what the fuck? Palmot gets Iron Fist? Oh, that's pretty cool. That's actually pretty fucking cool. I didn't know that. That's pretty sick. Okay, that makes me want to... I'm sad that I don't have Palmot anymore. <laughs> uh, still scared, huh? Uh, you worry you might have uh, might have to face that other one of your kind? Well, then, let me take some, on some of the burden. These Strike Brothers should be nothing. Me and Mad Boss if you can take him. Bluff? So which one? You take your partner there and go and take care of business. Got it. Yeah, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna question it. Glad to see you've got some faith in us at last. Bossif can't wait to battle either. <laughs> yeah, I mean Bossif's looking fucking right as rain now. Right on. Uh you really ruined uh, my whole childhood, you know. <laughs> but it's not like seeing you cut cowering and scared out of your wits makes me feel any better about it. You've got amazing powers, so if, if you just use him and you've got us. If you just what? You got amazing powers if you just use them. And you got us too. So, uh, so don't even think about losing to that jerk. Be brave, stand up, and fight. Nailed it.
Okay. Well, now we're kind of at a stopping point. I was actually scared that I was going to walk into a cutscene just now. So, I'm not going to take another step further. So, for now, uh, thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you next time. And hopefully we see fucking Mecha Professor. I really hope we do. But, yeah, I'll see you next time. Bye!